Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, imagine you're streaming, and it's time to switch scenes, so you reach down to your stream deck, you hit a button, and bam, you get a transition, just like that. And you're thinking, what? How is that possible? You can't have your old scene and your new scene you're transitioning to in the shot at the same time. How do you do that? You can't do that in OBS. Well, actually, you can now, just like this. Look, I hit another button, boom, there's another transition. OBS 27, it's crazy. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the feature that is most exciting to me in the new OBS update, OBS 27, and that is track mat stingers. Oh my God, you guys know that I love stinger transitions. I've made so many videos and so many free stinger transitions on my channel. You can download them all, use them however you want. And it sounds like I'm gonna be having to make a lot more with these brand new track mat stingers. Holy crap, they're gonna be unlocking a ton of things that you can do. If you don't know what a track mat stinger is, it's pretty much a stinger transition that you can then tell OBS where the transition points are on the screen. So you can have part of your old scene and part of your new scene on screen at the same time. If you take a look inside of After Effects here, I've got two track mat stingers. I've got this one where it's just a line of saber. If I turn on the transparent, turn off the transparent layer, you can see the line of saber that crosses the screen just like that. But then underneath this, if I hide the saber layer and turn on this solid layer, you can see this is what the track mat would look like. It's just a white and a black layer that's telling OBS one of the scenes needs to be on the white layer, one of these scenes needs to be on the black layer and you can have it moving however you want on screen to show both scenes at the same time. Oh my god, this is going to make for some extremely advanced stinger transitions. I'm super excited to make some. If you guys want me to make a ton of free track mat stingers, let me know down in the comments and like this video and I will get started because I'm super excited to get into making these. If we hit over here in my second composition, you're going to see we've got this orange line comes down, it flips, it separates, and that could be your transition right there. But then if we turn all these layers off and we turn on our track mat layer, you can can see it's just a white solid opening up from the center just like that so when you give OBS that stinger of the orange lines coming in and then give it this track mat it knows exactly what to do and if we play them at the same time you'll be able to see that one of your videos will be on the black your before video will be on the black and when they open up your new video will be on the white layer just like that oh my god I am so excited do you guys see why this is so exciting are you aware of the amount of advanced stinger transitions you could make using this feature I don't even think I am ready for the amount of things we're going to be able to do with this new track mat stingers. People are going to be coming up with the most amazing ideas. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to come up with some awesome ideas for some new stingers, and I'm going to give them away for free right here on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed, coming back and taking a look at all the stuff I'm going to be able to give you guys with these updates. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I've said this yet, but I'm excited. But if you guys would like to learn more about the new OBS 27 update and a little bit more about track mat stingers, you can jump down to the description and I put a video down there by Andy Lippy. It's the first video I saw about the OBS 27 features and he covers them extremely well, so I can't recommend giving his video a watch enough. He covers the track mat stingers really well. I actually used a couple clips and a couple B-roll shots from his OBS update in this video because I have not updated to the beta of OBS 27 yet. I'm not really interested in doing that. So I just pulled a couple things from his video because he covered it so perfectly, but I highly suggest you go down there and give his video a watch if you would like some more information. He shows exactly how these track mat stingers work and how to install them into OBS, so 100% go give his video a watch. It is an awesome video, and say, hey, hey, maybe jump down in the comments, say Bravity M sent you. And that's pretty much it for this video, but I do want to end it by saying that these two stingers that you saw in the video, the orange lines coming down and separating, and then the saber line just kind of going across the screen are completely free, and you can download them in the description right now. You're going to download a compressed zip file, you're going to be able to open it up, and you're going to have those two stingers and the corresponding track mats for those. So when OBS 27 comes out, or if you're running the beta, you can throw them in there and see exactly how they work. I hope you guys enjoy the new stingers, and I am so excited to be making some more advanced ones. I just made these ones really quickly to show you guys what track mat stingers are all about but we're going to be able to get really crazy with them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to get started making some incredible stingers and if you guys want them for free make sure you like this video and comment down below that you want these track mat stingers for free and i will see you in the next video see ya